Hey, hi, how are you? Um, yeah, happy weekend. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Um, yeah, today just want to do a summary on what's um, happening on Friday and what we expect the next week and the near future will be like the next uh, couple of weeks. You're going to have uh, possibly tapering announcement in November <clears throat> and there'll be a lot of um, NASDAQ tech earnings calls for quarter three coming up and uh, it should be good, should be very good. Um, just want to share with you a couple of things. First is um, the last week's event, which is um, Amazon's uh, company, Blue Origin. They launches uh, into space. I think this is the second time where it's actually for the public. Anyone can apply. And the Star Trek actor William Snedner was on on board and came down. He was overwhelmed, very happy. And I think Amazon has a lot of room for growth. Um, the September retail sales also went up and they have their EV electric uh, startup called Reviant, going to be listed quite soon. And they have the MGM uh, they bought MGM sometime in Q2 and you will, all the media contents will be um, merged with Amazon Prime and I think uh, Amazon Prime will be probably the second after Netflix so um, there are quite a few of um, few things that has high margin unlike their e-commerce business um, for example, let's say Amazon Prime, if they do well, actually it's a very high margin business. Um, so the second thing I'd like to say is, yeah, this is another photo of um, uh, William Snedzner for the Star Trek actor, went up on board the space with three other uh, civilians. I think the three other civilians could be engineers, like, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Um, I just want to share this uh, chart because you see if in the inflationary environment, it's very important to find a company <clears throat> if if this inflationary environment is not transitory, but actually it might be a bit longer than usual. But I think things will drop down, you know, once all the miners and factories have their capacity back to normal and hopefully china don't have this zero tolerance level like together with new zealand uh, they accept that the covid is a way of life <laughs> but anyway these sets of uh, companies have very high profit margin <clears throat> and they rely they won't they don't re other than the semiconductor <clears throat> supply chain shortages right um may which may affect them <clears throat> but they they may even benefit from the working from home uh, environment because uh, of lower salary. Uh, basically, they there won't be much higher input cost. And I think this company have a uh, possibility to scale and price up as well. Like Microsoft has announced that they are like uh, Microsoft Windows and uh, Words would increase by 10%. <clears throat> so I'd like to talk about... The banks, as you know, last week, all the banks were doing so well, report amazing profits, the uh, best that they ever had. For me, I, I didn't go to the conventional bank stocks. I went to stocks like those fintechs, PayPal, Square, SoFi, those kind of companies. So I think PayPal has a lot of room for to growth. If interest rates were to go up, I think this company will benefit as well because their interest rates will go up as well. If there's a loan, those uh, installment payment schemes that they provide to purchase something, um, that will be beneficial for them. That will increase their profit margin. And they are considered as inflationary protected companies because they won't be affected so much by high inflationary costs. Unlike Amazon, for example, e-commerce, you need a lot of manpower or let's say Royal Caribbean, you need a lot of petrol and all that. So the third point I'd like to, just want to touch on this company quickly, Nano, nine, nine, Nano Dimensions. They actually, they're very, very cash rich company. They raised funds way back in 
2020 and the beginning of 2021, they have about 2 billion in cash. Um, and Cathy Woods have funds inside, but yeah, Cathy Woods hasn't actually increased their fund size since I think March or April. <clears throat> and I don't really like the CEO. You know, I felt that he until today, he's just all talk and no action. But I think, um, you know, with the shortage in the chips, right, 3D printers, you know, if they have, um, you know, they, may, they have shown and demonstrated that they could do semiconductor chips or parts. And I think Tesla also during the Q2 uh, or Q3, uh, Q2 results, <clears throat> they did, or their annual general meeting, they did say that uh, they actually use 3D printers, but not sure which company. There are a couple of players in the, in, in this field. So I find, I find that the nano dimensions dragonfly is actually may be something quite interesting to look at to add in your watch list and the price has dropped 70 to 80 <clears throat> percent it's now trading at about six ring six dollar plus and the price to earnings ratio is 23.30 which is uh, lower than all the industry average <clears throat> um well this this is something that i'd like to say on the future few weeks um I think Jim Cramer is hinting that Nasdaq will be on the run. Will be there will be a rally for Nasdaq, especially the Russell counters, the small cap counters. Um, I think um, Meet Kevin YouTuber as well kind of like agree the same. In fact, he actually, you know, added up his margin and buy a lot of shares. Um, so I like to talk about uranium. It's a quick one on uh. The, you know, France, is, uh, the president says that this is probably, you know, trying to s s return, reclassify uranium as a new green energy. I know you have the Chernobyl, you got the Fukushima um, nuclear explosion and all that. <clears throat> but, you know, with better technology, actually, even Te Elon Musk did say that uh, Uranium actually is a good uh, source of uh, energy, clean energy. It's uh, more reliable compared to solar and wind or hydro. And oh, then we're talking about our Tesla. Uh, Tesla at the top of the mountain, the top of the food chain. They have shown in so many aspects, cars, even with all this hype, hype increase in commodity prices, um you know i think um yeah you can go for oil stocks to 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 have to enjoy the rally but i i would put my money in tesla the ev company i thought that people might want to save more money by putting um by even buying tesla cars and tesla solar homes um even though there could be stag stagflation or the deflation coming in <clears throat> So um, I felt that uh, um, they will make people wanting to actually save more money. So yeah, that's all I have to say today. Thank you very much.